Tech is not a word you would ever have thought you'd be associating with mixed martial arts. It's a game of inches that we play, and we as fighters are constantly looking for anything to give us any type of advantage. Oh! It's the little things. It starts with sleep, nutrition, hydration. Those are like three basic things. A lot of pro athletes, the greats, when they retire, they talk about you know, how they've stayed and played so long. Every person, player, team, coach, we're all looking for that secret weapon that nobody else has. Pro clubs in all sports are investing heavily in competitive advantages that are technology driven, that are physical health science driven, that are mental health science driven. Aries Tech provides us one more opportunity, one more tool in the arsenal of what we're doing when nobody's watching so that we can be better when everybody is. How do we continue to move hum humanity forward through innovation, through technology, while still remaining safe? I look at as, as Aries as that solution to this problem that we created through innovation. If you look at our research, all the stuff that we've done, we knew that we could demonstrate the effect in real time that our product works, which then led me to Dr. Dogers here. His ability to look at how the brain's functioning, how the heart's functioning, the connection to this external radiation from, from the cell phones, from, from your wireless devices, how it actually interacts with the body, and then when you introduce our product to make it all go away, is pretty remarkable. We've tested a lot of people on the road and we keep on making the same observation. The thing about the Aries is that there's a mitigation variable here and, and we keep on seeing it again and again, which is really, from a scientific perspective, it's pretty interesting. Hey guys, my name is Tim Welch. I'm the owner and head coach here at the Red Hawk Academy in Peoria, Arizona. Yo, what up guys? Corey Sandman, Sanhagen here. Hey everyone, NASCAR driver Chad Fincham. We're here with Aries Tech to do some tests. So now we're gonna do a quantitative EEG, uh, which is a recording of the brain. The resolution of an EEG is actually higher than that of an MRI. All right, so we're gonna do the first test here, okay? We're doing a pure recording of the brain and we'll see your brainwave responses to the cell phone. So now we're gonna do condition number three. And this time we have the Aries Tech device present. And we can compare that to the baseline so we can see the difference between the two. Normal heart rate variability is about 50 milliseconds, all right? You come in at 69.68. So great, nice healthy heart. Um, it's exactly where you want to be. Sweet. Okay. And this is eyes open with no, no protection on the phone. So then we look at what happened when you had Aries on the phone. And that's Aries Tech on the phone. From baseline to the Aries here, your heart rate variability went up to 87.71, which is really great. That's a significant increase. That's crazy. That's a mic drop, that's like. So seeing that, like you're learning about it for the first time, but even you start with heart rate variability, what was the, the change between the two? He went from 69.68 milliseconds to 87.71. Which is significant. That's a significant, that's a very, yeah, you don't have to crunch the stats there. So when you see that, like, what's your response to that? I mean, it's pretty cool. It's pretty awesome seeing it and hearing it from the doctor and, and seeing it firsthand, it's pretty awesome. So to see that that has that type of effect, is there, is yeah. it shocking? Yeah, definitely unexpected. Definitely unexpected, but I mean, pretty much proves it right there. This is your heart data. This, this, this orange, yellow, and green bar, these are all three different speeds of the heart. And the yellow bar represents sympathetic activation or your get up and go activation. Okay. okay. The, the green bar represents parasympathetic activation. So it's kind of like, you know, being able to relax and lay back in the hammock. So this is your baseline on the left here. And this is what you look like after you have uh, exposure for with a phone with no air tech on it. Oh, yeah, wow. Just, 
And when you have a high VLF and a high LF together, that's anxiety. Really? Uh-huh. The HF is the parasympathetic. That's what, that's what kind of mitigates it and relaxes you. When you have Aries Tech on the phone, this parasympathetic, oh, wow. okay. uh, you get a more balanced autonomic nervous system and your heart rate variability starts to increase again. Oh, wow. Okay. That's what you look like in baseline, right? And that's what you look like when you have Aries Tech on. My gosh, I mean, look at that. I mean, it's, again, it's doubled over baseline. Yeah, yeah. let's put up number... I was going to say, if you two. put two and three side by side... Yeah, she got it. All right, so let's do that. Boom. <laughs> no, wait, look at that. Parasympathetic tripled. You're an athlete, and being an athlete, your heart is tuned, and it's designed to stretch. Well, look at that. Whoa, so that's, that's crazy. That's what your heart does when you're exposed to a cell phone. What? Let's take a look at what you did when you had a phone with Aries Tech. Here we go. And boom. So about that's even. That's what happens when you got Aries Tech on the phone. So it, it brought it down and it yeah. brought it down to a more balanced state. What you produce when you sleep. Okay. Theta is what you produce when you're meditating, relaxing, waking up in the morning, half awake, half asleep. That's theta. Okay. Alpha is your laying in the hammock kind of rhythm. Uh -huh. Look what happened in alpha. Alpha takes a sharp increase in amplitude, it goes up. Uh -huh. We see the same thing in alpha one and alpha two. This is pretty, this is pretty strong. Yeah. Now this would again match what your heart was doing, making you more sympathetically activated. The fight or flight was way higher when my phone is next to my face versus when it wasn't, so that was cool. So let's look at what you look like when you have a uh, protection on the phone. Okay. So we have a pretty nice significant presentation that changes here. Yeah. Um, yeah, wow. So your theta, theta power comes up, alpha power comes up, and it looks like your betas return. Yeah. To return here, see that? Whoa, that's yeah, interesting. When you had a phone up to your head and you did not have any Aries protection, okay? So we got the pre and then the first exposure here. Okay. And then this is baseline and the phone with Aries protection. And what appears to have happened here is that you did have a significant reduction in delta and theta activity in your frontal lobe. When we look at beta to beta and you look at the post here, now that amount of, of beta uh, goes down significantly. Yeah, look uh, at how much more blue mm -hmm, that is. Yeah. I mean, it's like double. Yeah, yeah, your brain relaxed that for sure. This is an FDA cleared device that was put on your head that's designed to measure the brain. Yeah. And uh, when you actually get numbers like this, um, they're real numbers. Uh, so yeah, data real... doesn't lie. That's why I love it. I yeah. mean, being in, a, in the racing space, I mean, cars is data. I mean, my whole life is centered around data, but it's just like car data. So this is all new to me. But I mean, I am floored by the yeah. results. I mean, because if you look at baseline to the exposure, pro you know, without the Aries, look how much more it lit up, right? Like it, it lit up a lot. But then yeah. the exposure with the Aries improved probably by at least 30 or 40% over baseline. Now what we see here is you got some right frontal delta here in your baseline. But what is really telling here is that the overall power of delta after exposure to the phone dropped. The brain creates a lot of different frequencies all at the same time. Delta, theta, alpha, beta, high beta, and gamma. Delta is what you produce when you sleep. And then you can see there's, there's a bit of, of uh, left frontal activation here that is more than your baseline. That would create fogginess, okay? And it's not unusual for, for us to see this. You know, typically when somebody gets exposed to high energy like that and the body's not used to it, um, then it'll make you sleepy. You know? When you're doing these tests and stuff, do you see 
more of a, a change when it's 5G and the, the more powerful the phone is, the more powerful everything, you see more of a change? Yeah, yeah. The, the, the more power is definitely going to cause more of a response biologically. And also your, your level of health, you're in good shape. You take care of yourself, you know, you eat right. You take somebody who doesn't do that thing, uh, they won't have, they won't be able to sustain that type of exposure for long. This theta changed on your right side here and we saw more frontal theta appear. Alpha changed, more left frontal alpha appeared. And what I can tell you is that it can create a lot of different problems, such as depression, anxiety, brain fog, attention deficit, stuff like that. This right here is very telling. So high beta and gamma are really fast frequencies in the brain. If you see on the right here, you see this red on your right temporal, that's where you're holding the phone and it caused more activation in high beta and gamma in your right temporal lobe. Dang. When you had Aries Tech on the phone, you did look better. This is no protection with protection. Let's see what happens in the betas. There you go. That tells the story all together there. From pre to post, that, that went down quite a bit. That's a pretty big change. You see the comments, you see people talking about it, but if you can just prove it like this, then it changes it. I mean, especially for athletes, it's an absolute game changer. It makes me definitely want to get the Aries Tech for all my family. What I can tell you is that that phone slowed you down. Huh. So when you walked in the room, 512 milliseconds, okay? And that's, that's an above average response time, that's fast, okay? But as soon as you put the, the Aries device on the phone, you even got faster. Oh yeah, that's pretty significant looking. And when you look at this from baseline to uh, your third test, that's significantly faster. Cool. That's about 40 milliseconds faster. Dang. I'll have to sew in the Aries Tech into my shorts or something since we don't have a <laughs> since we don't have a clothes on, yeah. <laughs> but then my but then my opponent would get it too if we if he got close enough. And getting the results, obviously the doctor said that my reaction time is less when I am having the phone by my ear and just kind of EMF just in general. So I definitely see it as a way to optimize my performance. You know, in NASCAR racing. It, it, you're racing. It's all about speed. The whole sport is built around speed. How fast can you go and can you do it for the duration of the race? A tenth of a second on a racetrack can mean the difference between first and maybe last some, in some cases. You know, fractions of a second is so crucial. And like with Aries Tech, modulating the negative impacts of EMF, better focus, clarity, the whole nine yards enabled me to have faster response time, which led to faster recoveries when I'm doing my training and working out both on and off the track. You know, one thing that we do as NASCAR drivers that we go through with our training processes is, you know, you don't necessarily have to go and lift up a ton of weight to drive a NASCAR car, but you have to have the endurance. And so you have to do a lot of endurance training, cardio. If you're not getting good sleep at night, that was what I was battling with. I was waking up three and four times a night after my training sessions, and then I would go into the next day and I'd already be tired and fatigued before I even got started. Actually, before the last fight, I, I thought about like how I could get an Aries thing on me somehow, but I you know, obviously can't go in with a necklace. I thought about putting it in my cup, maybe. I thought that that would maybe be a good idea. Once I found Aries Tech, one of the major things that I've seen almost right away was as soon as I set that Aries Tech device down, you know, on my nightstand and then put one on my phone, like I said, almost immediately I could see the impacts. I wasn't waking up as, as much in the middle of the night. You know, I went from three or four times every night to maybe once or twice, depending on if, how much I drank, if I needed to go uh, to the bathroom for hydration. But I mean, really it's better sleep. I was, I wear the Whoop 5.0. I was tracking, you know, how much REM sleep was I getting? REM sleep is so important for recovery. And I was probably doubling the REM sleep I was getting. So I was waking up each day, feeling more refreshed and ready to tackle the next day. I have the Aries Tech everywhere in my house, um, which is awesome. It just kind of feels good knowing that there's like something preventing all of this, like, EMF waves that are, that are going on and uh, those things are just really unnatural like electricity and shit was not like a part of civilization for you know most of humanity so um, yeah so it feels really cool that uh, there's something that's like counteracting the modern day like stuff that we got going on. Teams that win and succeed sometimes do the unthinkable. You know, everyone in pro sports, NASCAR, NFL, Hawk, it does not matter. If you're in pro sports, every person, player, 
team, coach, owner, we're all looking for that secret weapon, that extra edge that nobody else has. And for me and my team and what we're doing, Aries was that solution for us and myself.